number 15 has a lot of factoring to accomplish, and we also have to notice the fact that it's a division. Division implies that on the second fraction, we're going to flip it or take its reciprocal. What we're going to do is just factor as we go, and we'll flip as we go, so we don't have to write down quite so much. If we look at the top of the first fraction, x squared minus 2x minus 8 is a relatively simple diamond problem, what we call an easy trinomial. Those numbers that multiply to negative 8 and add to negative 2 will give us the factors that we need. Those numbers would be negative 4 and 2, which means our factors are x minus 4 and x plus 2. On the bottom, x squared minus 4 is what we call a perfect square. So when we have perfect squares factoring, we'll write it as x plus 2, x minus 2. Now, in the second fraction, we're going to flip which means the top is going to go to the bottom and the bottom to the top. Let's look at the bottom first because now that's the top. x cubed minus 3x squared, they both have x squared in common. If we take out that x squared in common, that leaves us with x minus 3. Now if we look at the top, which becomes the bottom, we have another trinomial, which we can treat like a diamond, numbers that multiply to 12 and add to negative 7. Those numbers would be negative 4 and negative 3, so our factors are x minus 4 and x minus 3. Once we've factored everything, it's our job to look to see if we can cancel as many pairs as possible. A pair has to be an exact match, and we can take one from the top as long as we take one from the bottom that matches it. So x plus 2, for example, can cancel from top and bottom. Another example of canceling could be x minus 4, top and bottom. We can also cancel x minus 3, top and bottom. So since we don't have anything that matches x squared, and we don't have anything on the bottom that matches x minus 2, we're going to leave those terms, x squared on top, x minus 2 on the bottom. It might look tempting to try to reduce this, but we have to remember, when anything is linked together with a minus sign like this, we can't break it up and just cancel parts. So we're going to leave it alone like this, as x squared over x minus 2.